Donald Trump just gave Kim Jong-un devastating news. This could change the world as we know it. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the U.S. would consider military action against the country of North Korea. North Korea already possesses up to 20 nuclear bombs with the nuclear material to build many more. All the people in Manhattan would be killed immediately and the city would burn down to ashes. His country would use its nuclear weapons against the aggressors, quote, in a merciless manner. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said a U.S. policy of strategic patience with North Korea has ended. He added that military action would be on the table if North Korea elevated the threat level. And as if to underline Tillerson's remarks, President Trump actually tweeted out that North Korea is behaving very badly. China has done little to help. And he also kind of referred back to how the Obama administration was hoping that it sanctions would cripple North Korea to the point where it would renew uh, denuclearization negotiations. Tillerson also said, let me be very clear, the policy of strategic patience has ended. This time, says Japan, it's different. Four missiles were launched, all of them coming down in the Sea of Japan. They were fired from the Tongchang-ri region near the north's border with China. After flying for about a thousand kilometers, they landed in waters off Japan's northwest coast. Three of the missiles landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone, which extends 350 kilometers from its coastline. This launch has clearly indicated that North Korea poses a new level of threat. The launches are clearly in violation of Security Council resolutions, which we will not tolerate. The launch prompted South Korea's acting leader to call for the quick deployment of an American anti-missile system known as THAAD. It's already been approved, but that decision has become another point of tension with North Korea and China too. It is direct challenge to the globe and serious provocation. We should quickly finish the deployment of THAAD deployment and acquire a defense system against North Korea's nuclear and missiles. The U.S., Japanese and South Korean militaries are investigating what kind of missiles were fired. Intelligence analysis now confirms North Korea's ballistic missile launch last week was a practice drill to test hitting a U.S. Marine base in Japan. The North fired four extended-range Scud rockets into the Sea of Japan. Two missile experts say the hypothetical target was U.S. Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni. South Korea's acting president says as North Korea is continuing its nuclear test and ballistic missile provocations, the current security situation of the Korean Peninsula is very urgent and serious. South Korea is going through an historic political upheaval with the impeachment and removal of President Park. The next president to be elected in May will likely take a much softer approach to North Korea. The frontrunner Moon Jae-in has called for economic reunification with the North and eventual political and military unification. He's also called for recognition of Kim Jong-un as North Korean leader. Alarmed by North Korea's weapons test, South Korea and the U.S. have agreed to deploy THAAD, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Missile System in South Korea. That angers China, which sees it as a threat to its security. Some analysts believe North Korea already possesses up to 20 nuclear bombs, with the nuclear material to build many more, some small enough to fit on a missile, creating a clear and present danger to North Korea's neighbors. North Korea is revving up its people, holding anti-American rallies with thousands chanting anti-U.S. and South Korean rhetoric, its leaders promising to ready its rockets to settle accounts with the United States. The U.S. monitoring their troop movements, which reportedly include repositioning troops and vehicles from their mid-range missile launching site to their long-range base. North Korea's propaganda machine publishing two new pictures. One, an image of leader Kim Jong-un appearing to direct flight or attack plans on the board behind him. And in reaction to the U.S. stealth bomber flyover yesterday, this picture of North Korean missiles blowing up the unstealth B-52 bomber. The United States, in a rare public confirmation of stealth activity, sent North Korea a message yesterday by conducting a B-2 bomber practice mission 50 miles from the North Korean border, a message primarily designed to reassure a nervous South Korea. Those exercises are 
mostly to assure our allies that they can count on us to be prepared and to help them deter conflict. The B-2 stealth bombers are capable of dropping 16 nuclear bombs, each on a different target. But these bombers dropped only dummy weapons. We will uh, unequivocally uh, defend and we are unequivocally committed to that alliance with South Korea and we will be prepared. North Korea is saying it will send its rockets to Guam and Hawaii. The North says it could wipe out Manhattan with a hydrogen bomb mounted on a ballistic missile, and it warns its hydrogen bomb is much bigger than the one built by the Soviet Union. The Washington Post reports the communist nation says all the people in Manhattan would be killed immediately, and the city would burn down to ashes. As the U.S. imperialists and South Korean forces again started dangerous nuclear war drills against us, our army will counter them with the toughest counteraction, as it has already declared. Pyongyang says Washington and Seoul have pushed the Korean Peninsula to the brink of nuclear war with their decision to deploy a controversial missile defense system. Facing this threat, the DPRK says it will hold on to its nuclear weapons. Citing the DPRK's Committee for the Peaceful Reunification of Korea, state-run news agency KCNA on Friday said the country had been identified as a target for preemptive nuclear strikes by the U.S. The DPRK says it will take all possible measures to improve its ability for preemptive strikes if the U.S. and South Korea ignore repeated warnings against nuclear threats and holding of annual military exercises. North Korea readying more provocations while hiding its activities has been a notable pattern so far. But what's worrisome is that the regime is working to confuse prying eyes as well. Kim Young bin shares with us the Intel report. Citing sources from within the U.S. intelligence community and the Pentagon, that images from the U.S. spy satellite show there's new military activity happening in North Korea. The report says the regime is attempting to camouflage its movements from the prying eyes of the satellites. The sources say North Korea is moving military-related equipment to previously unused areas, but added Pyongyang constantly shifts vehicles and launchers around in an attempt to confuse the U.S. and its allies. That assessment was backed up by a researcher in Seoul. North Korea has around 200 mobile launchers, and most of them are constantly on the move to make it seem like it's conducting an operation. This tactic is used to confuse the Allies about the origin of a launch. CNN also reported that North Korea had moved equipment related to an intercontinental ballistic missile launch and made note of activity at the North Punggye nuclear test site, both of which could indicate a provocation is on the way. All of the new activity has renewed concerns in South Korea and the U.S. In a related statement on Tuesday, General Joseph Dumford, the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, had acknowledged that North Korea could conduct provocative actions during the key resolve and full eagle military exercises between Seoul and Washington. Pyongyang and Seoul have engaged in yet another fiery war of words following the start of the annual military drills between the U.S. and South Korean troops. A spokesman for the North Korean army has threatened that his country would use its nuclear weapons against the aggressors, quote, in a merciless manner. He said the reaction would be the toughest ever, but did not elaborate. This prompted a reaction from South Korean officials that said they would resolutely punish Pyongyang if provoked. American and South Korean soldiers began their yearly war games on Wednesday. A group of demonstrators gathered outside the U.S. Embassy in Seoul to protest the exercises. They said the drills would push the Korean Peninsula closer to the brink of a nuclear war. There's only one thing that causes a man-made earthquake, and that's an underground nuclear explosion. North Korea says it just did that by conducting its fifth test. South Korean seismologists detected activity that had typical signs of a nuclear test. The energy of the magnitude 5 earthquake is double that than the fourth nuclear test. We have analyzed and found that the seismic activity blast was slightly smaller than the Hiroshima atomic bomb. North Korean state TV proudly announced what it called Pyongyang's military supremacy. But South Korean President Park Yun-hai said in a statement that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was showing fanatic recklessness. The North Korean leader says the test is a demonstration of the tough will of his people. 
He says the fact there was no radioactive leakage or adverse impact on the environment is a testimony to the country's nuclear competency. South Korea and Japan say North Korea's ability to mount nuclear warheads on its range of missiles poses a real threat to the region. Earlier this week, Pyongyang fired three ballistic missiles with at least one entering Japan's air defense zone. Considering that North Korea has developed missile technologies capable of delivering weapons of mass destruction, it is a grave threat to the national security of Japan as well as peace and security of Northeast Asia and the international community. We absolutely cannot accept it. North Korea conducted its fourth nuclear test in January. Its latest test is its most powerful one so far.